When I was young, I don't think it hit me that I, I loved the sport. Um, but my parents saw that I always had a ball at my feet, just attached to me. And then, you know, it finally dawned on me around the 1999 Women's World Cup that there's a future in this sport, and that's when it sort of hit me that that's what I wanted to do. You know, we've got three months to really put things right, and it's it's, it's that you know that last summit on Everest. You know, you're looking to try and get that flag down. There will not be many teams in the world that will have a, a cohesive training program where you can micromanage every aspect of the international players' development. John and his coaching staff really brought in the, the scientific side of the sport. And you know, every practice, every game, we're wearing GPS monitors, heart rate monitors, just to measure your workload, whether you're working too hard or not enough. There you are, Sink. Well done. So I just want to say that your movement's decent, because I know it's frustrating there that you've done all that work, and it's, but well, if, if we had the video on that, you'd see three times where it should have gone straight into the curtain, you're turning off. The ultimate goal for London is to, to bring home a medal, and I think on any given day we can beat any team in the world, but we've got a lot of work to do. We can't expect to just put it together in the Olympics. You know, it, the work needs to be done now. hard as a national team to come together before a big tournament, but this is a unique opportunity where we get to live together. It's just going to get us all on the same page. We have an inner squad game tonight, so that's exciting. It's our first one here. So It's the closest it's you can get to an international game because we're all trying to make this team. Everyone's, you know, playing full intensity, so it's, yeah, it's always a really good game. I knew Sinky when uh, she first came on the national team. So innocent, so shy, never spoke to anybody. We were doing a shooting drill. When most people, when you're inside the 18 and they come in close, they try to hammer the ball away. And she took it and she placed it. And we're looking and be like, who's that kid? And that was because she would end up being one of, if not the best finishers in the world. I'm, I'm not a rah-rah person. I, I do my talking on the field and in practice, you know. I, I hope my teammates know that they can rely on me and that I will give absolutely everything. I tend to lead by example. Christine loves the captain's armband. She's a, a new leader. I get ideas from her, how she moves and how she affects the play. She absolutely loves the game and it's our enthusiasm that's really infectious. You know, when I was growing up, there weren't female soccer players to look up to or female athletes in general to look up to that were well known. You think of all the young girls that are in Canada playing soccer that dream of doing what we're doing. To get to go to the Olympics and represent your country on the biggest stage, it's just the hugest honor. One, two, three, yeah! My name's Christine Sinclair and I'll be representing Canada in London.